actually, actually, it's interesting that that's what came up. Because one of the stories I tell them a lot when I first went to Japan, before I went there, I heard about that they eat all these really weird foods in Japan. You know, all these raw stuff, like raw eggs and raw fish. And I'm thinking to myself, has fire not gone to Japan yet? You know, they know about cooking. And, and I heard they eat, they eat sprouts, and I hated sprouts. Hated sprouts. And so I go to Japan, and it's like sprout mania, you know? But I, and I really love them. I love them. So, all you Moyashi haters, other team, sorry. But the Nato, right there with you. <laughs> Nato's a mistake. That's a mistake. It's rotten. And it smells bad. But then the poise can right there too, so no, 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 no. Okay, so once again, thank you. Thanks to Hong Kong, I love you very much. Thank you very much. Great speech. Everyone, we only have one life, one chance to go around, and you have got to grab a little beach opportunity, just like he was talking about. Get yourself to Orlando. Get yourself with all your group there for your success and for the group of all the success of all those around you. That is what the main point is there. So thank you once again. Okay, now we are all interested in achieving success and progress in gaining higher ranks and achieving more things. We're going to talk now specifically about some of those things. I'd like to ask a group of rubies. Woo! Come up here with you. Need my papers in order. Okay. I would like to ask the please come to the stage, Wade Yamamoto, Javea Aloy, Adrian Kalegi Mamahu, Laura Thomas, Marie Govea, and Kei Kigan Izumi. All come to the stage, please. Tyler, is that, that answer to work for you? Okay, good. Okay, I'll be coming up here. Now, excellent. Another handsome group of people, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, you guys know how to grow them in the islands. That's all I can say. Okay, now, the reason we had to, uh, I'm sorry, we don't have chairs. I know, I, I, so we're going to stand, okay? And can you light up number one as well? Please, thank you. Now, I'm going to assume that you're Wade. <laughs> okay. See, sometimes, I tell my kids this, sometimes I just know stuff. It's spooky. We're going to talk specifics about becoming Ruby. How many of you here today are not Ruby yet? How many of you absolutely want to become Ruby? How many of you are committed to doing whatever it takes to become a Ruby? Okay, the hands have diminished. I'm going to have them now. We're going to hear from them specifically how to do that. And then you too can do what they have done. So, uh, we're going to kind of just go through here. And I've got a list of questions here. And these are, these are great questions. Wait, you need these. Yeah, okay. Because what? Man. He is the man. He's the only man up here besides me. Okay, wait. Wait, how long have you been a Ruby? It's August. Okay, so this is going to be fresh in your head. So ready? Here we go. What do you feel is the single greatest thing that helped you reach Ruby rank? You want to hear what God just asked him? The single greatest thing. This is what you all need to know. So make note. Here we go. Okay, wait. Uh, I think it was uh, spending or committing Pretty much every day for a couple of months, not eating the gym, eating the people, but just sacrificing and, and trying to achieve it. Great, great answer. What, what are a few pounds for rank anyway, right? right? But I I'm going to take, take away from this answer one very important word. Sacrifice. You've got to give up something to get something. Very seldom can you just go, everything you're doing the same. Everything you're being the same, and still get something more. That doesn't happen too often, so perfect. Thank you very much. What? Do I get an easy question? Well, let's see. 
Sure, I'll give you one of the shortest ones. What's your name again? Kiki Don. Kiki Don? Kiki Don, how old are you? Six months? Okay. Everyone, so you know all about the enemy. What are the most effective tools you use to help you be successful? I use my upline. Ooh. Good answer. Yeah, use that upline. Actually, there you go. Very good. You want to pick your question? Is that true?
much that it's really been talked about multiple times today, and we've heard in all these gatherings, there will be stuff happens. Bad stuff is going to happen. Negative things are going to happen. Everything's not going to be great. You know, not everyone likes the moyashi and the nacho. You know, they just don't. But you don't, but that's okay. They don't have to. And you make it work. Okay, thank you very much, Laura. Thank you. Okay, name? Adrian Kalimamahu. Yeah, that was a hard one. I, Adrian Kale, Kalimamahu. How yeah, do you do? Okay. That's his name. Yeah. That's his name? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, now, as we go through the ranks, you know, we start out down here, you know, Jane. And we, and as you go through the ranks, what goes through your mind? Does, does, does your mindset change as you go to the next rank? As you think every day, what am I going to do to get the next rank? Have you changed over that course of time? Personally, I had to go through a lot of um, personal growth. Um, I, I was able to break a lot of J's, and that's the first step that I teach my team. The basics, this gets your J's in 31 days. And then from there on, you just keep creating J's. So from the bottom up is what helped my team, but now I'm at that Ruby level. You didn't ask me how long I was a Ruby. I, I made a mistake, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Too long. <laughs> But yeah, so each level, I mean, it doesn't make a leader, a brand doesn't make a leader, it's the leader within. And I've learned that with Kayana, and it's a journey, and I've recognized a lot of leaders that were even ranked. So I learned from my, my team, and it really helped me to grow as a leader myself. Confidence, sacrifice, and a lot of um, collaboration with other leaders as well. And we work together so well as a team, even though we're cross lines, side line, upside down line. We work great together. And I love Tayani and I consider everybody as my family and I learn from each and every one of everyone. Thank you. Okay. And I'll tell you what I really love taking. I hope you're all taking notes on these things. These are these are priceless pieces for those who really want to get to Ruby. If you already meant it. Focus on the basics. It's the basic things you do to make you successful. You know what? And as I go to different markets in Asia and I get time to spend and listen to everyone and see what they're doing, there's some there's just great things they do and different things they do, but I have found across the board, without fail, those who really truly achieve the greatest success in our industry are those who can do the basic work. Those who get out there and they they make change. They find the people that are interested, and they, they find those people that are willing to have a moyashi with not mix that in them, and they just find them, and it's the basic things they do that gets to be successful. So thank you very much. Woo! Round of applause, please. Thank you very much. Woo! Okay. Me, please. Javier Aloy. Javier, nice to see you again, and congratulations on your digital toy. That was very clever. <laughs> Actually, we probably should say it there. That's how she had your ruby. She's very clever. Very clever. Um, okay, so how long have you been Ruby? See, I didn't make a mistake again. Let's see, about um, almost two years, a year and a half. Well, we're ready, we're ready to be em emerald now. I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now, everyone's heard things to do, basics, focus, you know, attitude, use your apply. Wait, what are you sure? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Now, what final last bit of advice would you give to everyone out there to raise their hand three times in a row that they really do want to be ruined? One final advice. You know, success is a choice that you make every single day. And so if you truly want to become Ruby, um, and, and to get to that next level, whether you have to leap through, you know, um, bounds and, you know, climb mountains and, you know, cross your river, everything that you do every single day, you know, you need to find that burning desire and, and have that courage to change or, you know, make the sacrifices that you, that you need to do in order to get there. And so it, it comes down to just being consistent. Uh, being consistent in what you do every single day, whether you're going to work it two hours a day, one hour a day, make that choice in becoming successful so you can become Ruby.
so you can become diamond and, and go to the top. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now, before I send you, I just need to say bye bye, but one more big round of applause for all the true friends. I'm going to ask each of you to think of one word you want to leave with them. Just one word you want to leave with them about what that they can plant in their brain that will help them be come and wait. You're going to be last, so and you can't double up on anything they say. Okay, so there we go. Okay, one word. Here we go. That's a lot of words. That, that, okay. So prioritize your life. So prioritize. Prioritize. Very important. Teamwork. You can do it. <laughs> that is one word. Hard no spaces. Work. Hard work. One word. Decision. Decision. Decide to do it. Oh, I hope everyone can raise their hand three times for that one down. Who today is going to decide to become Ruby? Not want to, hope to, try to. Who is going to decide today to become Ruby? Hey, hold it. Keep your hands up. I have a photographic memory. <laughs> I am going to see you again. Okay, thank you. Okay, wait. Come up here with me. Okay, wait. We are going to finish this out strong, Wade. You are going to final out this segment for us. You are going to be excited. They're going to be happy. They're going to be weeping. They're going to be wanting more and more of Wade, so hit me. Not the whole.